The polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, is a method to amplify a DNA template to produce specific DNA fragments in vitro. Each PCR cycle doubles the amount of target sequence, or amplicon, in the reaction. As the number of cycles increases, theoretically, the number of DNA molecules increases exponentially, so that after 30 cycles, more than 1 billion DNA molecules will have been generated in a few hours. The major components used in PCR include a double-stranded DNA template, primers that anneal to target sequences on the denatured DNA, thermostable DNA polymerase enzyme, which catalyzes formation of new DNA strands, nucleotides, also called DNTPs, used to make the new strands, and a reaction buffer that provides a stable pH and contains magnesium chloride. Magnesium chloride stabilizes the DNA base pairing and is a necessary cofactor for the function of the polymerase. PCR typically involves an initial DNA template denaturation step to separate the two strands, followed by repeated cycles of denaturation, primer annealing, and primer extension. This repeats for about 20 to 40 cycles, followed by a final extension and ends with a hold or soak cycle for stable storage of the PCR product. Let's look at each step in detail. A PCR cycle begins by heating the DNA to denature the double-stranded template. Because DNA has an overall negative charge due to the phosphodiester backbone, the positively charged magnesium cations associate with the DNA strands. This reduces the repulsion between the two strands thus stabilizing the base pairing and affecting the melting temperature at which the strands denature. Once the two strands are separated, the primers can then anneal to the target sequence. During the annealing step, the temperature is decreased, allowing the primers to form stable associations with their target sequences on the single-stranded DNA. Once annealed to the single-stranded DNA, the double-stranded region at the primers allows the DNA polymerase to bind and start extension by adding DNTPs complementary to the template strand. DNA polymerase can only synthesize in the 5' to 3' direction by extending the 3' end of the primer. A second PCR cycle proceeds the same way. DNA is denatured by heating. The temperature is reduced, allowing the primers to anneal to the single DNA strands. Then the DNA polymerase synthesizes the complementary strand. The third PCR cycle doubles the number of DNA molecules produced in the second cycle. First, DNA is denatured, then primers anneal to the single strands, and DNA polymerase synthesizes complementary strands. The final extension step is to ensure that all the products are fully extended by giving the polymerase a little extra time to add any missing nucleotides and allow for all the products to be double-stranded. The hold soak step can be included for convenient short-term storage to ensure your product is stable if you can't take it out of the thermocycler right away, and allows you to run a reaction overnight, knowing the samples will be safe until the next day.